Hello everyone, my name is Jajas Patel and you are watching Jajas Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 23 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDO. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully get all these uh, information inside these text boxes. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on when some uh, what happened when someone click on this uh, save button. So simply we are going to update this all information directly dynamically. So how can we do that? So simply just come back here and here set with one condition if is set dollar underscore post just because we are using here post matter uh, up con okay we are going to change this name from here con and say up underscore con okay so what should be done if someone click on there okay so first of all we need to create a variable of all the fields that we have here okay so just look at here phone email add one add two just like that so first of all i'm going to create one variable with the uh, phone and give the post method here and here we say the phn just because our post variable name is phn field name is phn input field name okay as same way we are going to use here email equal to dollar underscore post email okay then add one equal to dollar underscore post add one okay as the same way we are going to use add to equal to dollar underscore post add to then what we have here after add to yt fb gp okay so yt equal to dollar underscore post yt then after we have a f B, so dollar fb equal to dollar underscore post fb then he okay not like that gp equal to dollar underscore post gp okay then after we have i think tw yeah tw which means twitter dollar underscore post tw then after we are going to create the last variable li equal to dollar underscore post ln ln so also change it from here ln now count these all field one two one two three four five six seven eight nine okay and also count this input tag from here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 yeah all are complete all are perfect so now we are we can go uh, we can move forward so here we are going to create one update query up equal to dollar con prepare statement here double quotes and we say update contact set phn equal to dollar phn then comma email equal to dollar email then after uh, add one equal to dollar add one then after add two equal to dollar add to this is the our database table field name and this is the variable which is coming from here and we set the value in this variable coming from here from the name of the input tag so don't be panning this is a very simple okay then after we are said the yt equal to dollar yt then after 
एफ बी इक्वल टू डॉलर एफ बी देन आफ्टर वी आर गोइंग सेट जी पी इक्वल टू डॉलर जी पी देन आफ्टर वी सेट जी पी एंड देन टी डब्ल्यू इक्वल टू डॉलर टी डब्ल्यू एंड द लास्ट वन इज लिंक इक्वल टू डॉलर एल एन ओके सो लेट्स काउंट अगेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट and the last one is nine okay so our query is ready so we have set the if condition here if dollar up will be executed then echo double quotes we need to only refresh the page just because we are going to save that one so we doesn't need to give any alert message so for that reason we are, we are going to directly window dot open underscore self and here index dot php question mark contact okay so I think our query is ready to run now so let's try to save it and see what is happening here okay when I click on save it so so nothing is going to happen which means our query is running very well now change the value with the zero save it so just look at this now you can see that the zero is coming here again i am going to change it with the nine save it so you can see that you can just see that nine is coming here as the same way you can update all this way uh let's change to update with the 199 save it so just look at this one 199 is coming now now again i am going to change with the 399 save it so you can see that 399 is also coming from here also there those update are coming from here inside our database okay you can see that 619 uh, 399 all are perfect all are ready and all are working very well so in i think guys this is enough for today in next tutorial we are going to working on this fix frequently asked questions so i think this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe the channel so guys we will meet you in next tutorial next tutorial we are going to working on the fix page okay so Stay connected with me, stay tuned. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Goodbye.